North Korean state media on Monday lauded the spontaneous meeting between Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump at the demilitarized zone dividing the two Koreas. The top leaders of North Korea and the United States agreed to keep in close touch in the future too and resume and push forward productive dialogue for achieving a new breakthrough in the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and in bilateral relations. Just a day before, President Trump shook hands with the North Korean dictator before crossing the border. Stepping across that line was a great honor. A lot of Making him the first sitting American president to set foot on North Korean soil. During their meeting, the pair agreed to restart denuclearization talks, which Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said would start sometime in July. We thought there might be this opportunity, and the president, uh, by getting together with Chairman Kim today, broke through and was able to get us the opportunity to get back to negotiating Kim. But when nuclear talks resume, negotiators will be revisiting old disagreements that have scuttled previous talks. It's all leading toward... In February, at their summit in Hanoi, the two leaders failed to agree on U.S. calls for denuclearization and North Korean demands for sanctions relief. On Monday, China and Japan praised the Trump-Kim meeting, but at home, a number of Democrats vying to replace Trump in the White House voiced concern. Senators Bernie Sanders and Kamala Harris called the event a photo op, as did Senator Elizabeth Warren, who tweeted, quote, Our president shouldn't be squandering American influence on photo ops and exchanging love letters with a ruthless dictator.